Hello YouTube, this is my potato garden. Those are some watering cans that I'm gonna water it with and that's my puppy, Baby Joy. She's a pit bull bulldog and she is absolutely cuddly and amazing. A perfect little animal. I am gonna weed this garden because, as you can see, there's lots of stuff in there like grasses and weeds that will take the nutrition from my potatoes and I don't want that. So I'm gonna set up my camera and chat for a little bit while I do that weeding. I hope y'all enjoy. Baby, nope, you can't knock this down, okay? Okay. Alrighty. So what I like to do, I'm gonna get some of this grass out of the way here. I got a weed whack like crazy too here, but I'm gonna do that later. Hi baby, you coming to say hi? Oh, you're so, be careful. You're such a beautiful little creature. But you're gonna have to let me do a little weeding, okay? I do not mind you are out here with me, but no, no gardens. It's a little harder to do with the puppy going a little crazy, but with the puppy here, I should say. But I'm gonna do it anyway. She wanted to come outside and follow me around, and I don't mind that at all. Hopefully she doesn't mess with potatoes. I'll just let her do her thing. Try to get the weeds down by the roots. So they don't just grow right back, and I gotta pull the same ones again next time. I haven't weeded this one in a few weeks or a couple weeks. She likes to eat grass, so I'm sure that she will go around munching some grass. Won't you, little girl? Won't you, big dog? Come on. You are watching what I'm doing. Well, you get some grass. Help me out. Get some weeding. Eat that grass. All right. So, not only do I love gardening, but I want to be very, very self-sufficient. I eventually plan on having a little wind farm and some solar panels and whatnot. My gardens will be much expanded. And I have chickens now, but I plan on getting pigs and goats next spring. I just got to go a little slow because I'm not the wealthiest guy and I need time to build stuff. To enclose said animals safely and make sure they have happy lives because even the ones that I will you know slaughter to eat I want to be very happy until that day comes I want them to kind of be unsuspecting of it honestly which sounds a little wrong but I think that's the way I want to go about it I don't want to the only thing I'm gonna really slaughter is male chickens if I get them and uh, pigs a pig a year, really, or maybe more if I'm selling some meat. I plan on getting them a male and a female pig and keeping those two to breed and then selling piglets and raising some of the piglets for my family and I to eat. And maybe I'll sell the meat too. It depends on, depends on how much time I have and what makes the most money for me, really. And piglets only cost, they only sell for like, I don't know, 50 to 75 bucks. But if I raise it and get it slaughtered and sell the meat, I could probably make hundreds of dollars, hundreds and hundreds off of the pig. All I do is throw these weeds back behind me in the grass because they'll get mulched in when I mow. No, I don't mind if there's some weeds in the grass, really. I just don't want them in my garden. It's about 7.30 in the morning here in Moira, New York. It's a beautiful morning again. Another gorgeous day. It's hot. That's why I'm doing this early. I intend on doing early and late outside work today. In the heat of the day, I plan on doing some dishes inside and some laundry and whatnot. Probably a good plan, but I think it's supposed to be even hotter today than it was yesterday, and yesterday was a scorcher. So I think you guys kind of get the point here. It goes from looking like that to looking like that. Mm, that's going to be the whole way around the garden. So, you all have a terrific day. I will do the same. <laughs> 